Well, new at four, the legal teams in the state case against the Walmart shooter continued to blame each other as the two sides met in court for another status hearing. ABC 7's Sam Harasimowitz joins us live with an update. Sam, what did you learn today? Nicole, the big thing that we learned in this status hearing is that, frankly, we are still quite a ways away from actually knowing when the state trial against the Walmart shooter, Patrick Crucius, will begin. This hearing ending rather fiery between the two legal sides with an argument breaking out between Joe Spencer and District Attorney Bill Hicks. The questions were about the number of files and data and information as regards to evidence being given to the defense in regards to this case and how long it may take them to sift through everything and then even going so far as to saying to the state saying that this was justice versus politics bill hicks firing back and that was originally stated by a member of the defense team felix valenzuela but bill hicks fired back saying there quote no politics in taking this case to trial and then joe spencer eventually responding back by saying he takes exception that the district attorney says politics is not involved in this this case after that rather fiery ending between the two sides, Judge Sam Bedrano addressed the crowd quietly and calmly by looking to the community. He's saying this is something he rarely does, but he was not addressing the two member the two sides of the legal team. He rather addressed the community. He walked everyone slowly and calmly through a timeline of events since the August 3rd shooting in 2019, through the pandemic, through the administration of Yvonne Rosales, her resignation, and eventually the new administ administration rather of district attorney Bill Hicks and then after that after two hours of hearing is when the court adjourned both legal teams came out in a joint statement telling us they really had nothing they could give us because of the gag order in this case we asked when the next hearing may be again we were not given that information as well but this hearing taking just over two hours today Nicole